Hey everybody, Brian from PMB Homesteading. I want to do the update for the large grow tent, so I got my goggles and let me get the camera over there. And so last week you saw that we, uh, I raised the lights up and I, raised, I lowered a few of them back down because the plants weren't seeming to grow as fast as they were. And one of them is the Vates Kale. So I had the light, you know, probably right up around here. And as you can see, I've lowered it down from the ceiling probably about six inches. And now it's a little bit closer to this kale and I'm starting to see more of the growth that I was expecting to see in the regrowth of areas where I cut. I just watered, you know, not too long ago, so there's a little bit of water on top here, but over the last few days I was seeing, you know, not as much growth, and then, you know, a little bit of yellowing in some of the leaves out here on the, uh, the edges. So they were staying a little bit wetter, and they weren't getting that light to really take off in their growth, but now it seems to be really, really bouncing back inside here in this middle section. So I'm really happy to see that. Uh, this one over here, I lowered the light down about the same level as the, uh, the chard, or the, not, the Vates Kale, and I put it at the same height as it were the chard, because it was seeming to not have as much regrowth, and I did add some more fertilizer amendment in here, some organic uh, fertilizer, and I'm seeming to get some, some new growth in here. I haven't harvested off of this one this week. I think this is the one we're going to harvest off of, because I need to thin this out, because it seems a little crowded, and some of the smaller growth is uh, not getting the light it needs. So it's kind of kind of wilting off down in there. You can see down inside there. So I'm going to come through here and thin this one out and use that for one of our meals. And then, we'll, of course, we'll harvest off some of this Bates kale. Uh, the basil seems to be doing really well. It's come back, you know, quite a bit because I didn't harvest off any this week of the basil. There's a lot of flowering tops here that I need to pinch off and get these to send out some new shoots off the sides across the edges. But that'll be a, we'll harvest some of that this week. Uh, we did take some of the parsley. And it's re regrown quite quite a bit. I mean, this is this this parsley is really vigorous. I mean, we, we I came down here and cut some of this off, and you can see there's new growth. I cut down in kind of in this area here, and uh, it seems to have all regrown, and it's really thick. I mean, if you want a good parsley, this is that. Uh, which one was this? That's a peony, or flat leaf parsley. Uh, over here we've got the cilantro. We got the the seed head starting to come up on the cilantro. I was going to let these go. And see if I actually got any seed head to, to uh, form on these these tops. But uh, we thinned this out, came through here, and cut a bunch of it off. And it seems there's a lot of a lot of new fresh growth right through here. This is where we harvested this last week. Uh, the chard back there is looking really good. I'm going to harvest some of that off this week. The uh, Mexican herb looks like it's doing well. Uh, that's one that I'm going to actually take out, and we're going to put that in our yard this this summer. See if I can actually get it to go to full uh, flower mode once we get into the hotter uh, time of the summer. So I'll probably take this and transplant it out in later June, you know, mid-June to late June here in the Pacific Northwest. We get to, you know, the warmer temperatures up in the 80s and then we'll have that hot July and August. So that will hopefully stimulate this plant to think that it's got the hot season and it'll flower and uh, I can collect some of that seed and replant it inside here for uh, winter. Let's see, we've got the white tail back here. It's going pretty well. As you'll notice, over the tops of these two beds, I kept the lights high, because they seem to like that light being higher. But then again, over here, over the two kales, I lowered it down about six more inches and uh, got it a little closer to this kale, because I noticed that it wasn't, uh, you know, the kales didn't seem to be growing like they should be with the lights at that height, you know, above them. So we've got the, you know, growth coming back on. This red Russian kale's looking good. We came down and I, I harvested off quite a bit of this this last weekend. And then I took a bunch out. I kind of thinned, you might be able to tell there's like a little, dip, you know, little rows that are kind of cut out of these. Like there's a row back there, there's a row here, a row here, kind of one here. I kind of came through and chopped it and then I'm letting this grow up. Then I'll chop it, let the one in the middle grow up and then I kind of rotate where I'm cutting off of this. That way it makes it a little easier to kind of target where I want to do my cuttings. But that's kind of the top row here. Let's look down here and check out the regrowth on the uh, Mizuna Asian Greens. And as you can see, this is that one we harvested off and it's got pretty good regrowth. So I'm gonna be able to get another harvest off of that uh, probably by next week. And then I did harvest off the front half of this tray. And I still have the back half of that over there to still harvest. So I'll probably harvest this all off. I'll take that second cut on this and then I'll harvest the back of that tray, you know, this week. And then let it regrow. And then you can see those two little pop-up pepper plants. They're going into full flower mode underneath there. And there's quite a few little peppers on there. You can see, let me get the camera back here. You can see there's one there. 
one over there. Let's see, I don't know if you can see, there's like quite a big one on that one. I'll move the camera over here. You can see that little pepper back there. And if you look down there, there's a little yellow one down there. So uh, I'll harvest those off when they get ready. But those are two little free peppers that came out of our compost. Then of course in the middle we have the, uh, the parsley. I harvested off some of the parsley on that one there because it was getting pretty bushy and hanging over the floor and I almost stepped on it one time. So I harvested off a bunch on that one. And Paula has two of these up in the house right now, sitting by the kitchen window that she's using for uh, her parsley needs of the, you know, just the, the minor ones for when she wants to put a little parsley on top of like some soup or something like that. But we'll uh, put this more into a production area. Well, of course, you know, we're gonna actually have to get rid of all of this stuff down here because down there on that tray, is where I'm going to germinate a bunch of my uh, tomato plants and pepper plant. Well, no, I'm not doing peppers. I'm going to do tomatoes, eggplants. I think that's all I'm going to do this year in those two varieties because peppers never do real well in our yard. We get a few peppers, but we just don't have that all-day sun that they need. Eggplants, I'm surprised. I mean, with the the you know the 60 to 70 day eggplants, we actually get quite a few eggplants for uh, for our area. And so I'm going to try that again and then do a few less tomato plants. I mean, you know, I don't need to have 105 tomato plants <laughs> like I did last year. I mean, I gave away like half of that and I still grew 66 tomato plants. I mean, we've got so many canned tomatoes, it's insane. I mean, we've been eating some, we've been eating a lot of, uh, a lot of type uh, homemade tomato type sauce dishes, you know, on more than I usually like to eat for pasta because I'm not a real big pasta guy anymore because, you know, I'm trying to keep my weight down, you know, I don't want to end up with the, uh, Little Buddha, Buddha belly look. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Probably a little more information than you guys want to know about me. <laughs> All right. Well, this has been Brian from PB Homesteading. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Talk to you again. Bye.